but yet I feel very unsafe. As I've been hearing, there is another attempt being made to kidnap me now from Antigua to Guyana. Very innocent. And I will come out victorious from all the charges that they have put against me. Presently, I'm in Antigua, very much confined to the limits of my house or to visit different doctors for my medical treatment. Since the last traumatic, brutal experience of kidnapping on me from Antigua to Dominica, my health has deteriorated further a lot and I'm just trying to recover out of this shock. But yet I feel very unsafe. As I've been hearing, there is another attempt being made to kidnap me now from Antigua to Guyana, as there is a greater presence of Indians there. They're trying once again, in illegal manner, to kidnap me of my where I'm citizen in Antigua to take me to another Caribbean country and again to press me away from there to India. Yeah, I'm fighting the cases both in Antigua and Dominica, but at the end, I'm very clear that I will come out victorious as it was a very unfortunate kidnap and there was no illegal immigration in Dominica. At the same time, I'm fighting my charges put against me in Antigua. Again, I feel that I will come out victorious. Uh, it's very unfortunately, uh, very unfortunate that what I'm going through. I am a resident of, I'm resident and citizen of Antigua and in illegal manner, the other country is trying to take me to face the trial, which I've always offered myself that the only due to my bad health that I'm not able to trial, to, uh, be, be not able to travel. I certainly want to clear my name and I've always offered myself available on any other interrogation, whether here or by Zoom. But unfortunately, my health is deteriorating and since last four years, I'm unable to travel long way, but I am very innocent and I will come out victorious from all the charges that they have put against me, both in both the countries as well back in India. <laughs>